Job 29 through 33. We met in chapter 32, someone who's going to come and talk with Job besides the three friends. His name is Elihu. We'll talk more about him tomorrow. But we ended uh, 31, chapters 29 through 31 today. In fact, were uh, Job's final statements of his argument. And uh, the word uh, signature is used in uh, 31, 35. He's signing off, as it were, his argument. The last line of 31, the words of Job are ended. Well, what have we learned uh, so far in the book of Job then, just from Job's speeches? We have learned that these men, again, are arguing for a rather mechanical obedience or mechanical relationship to the divine world. If you obey them, they won't mistreat you. That is why, Job, you are being uh, in the situation you're in because you have not obeyed, you have sinned. Job's argument we are hearing is very different. Back in 1513, we have that famous statement, though he slay me, I will trust him. And that word is never used in any of the arguments of these three men. So there's a difference. There is the clear difference in how these men think. Mechanical relationship. Here's Job saying, yes, I have been innocent. I've done nothing wrong. That's why I'm arguing so vehemently. But I'm going to trust this God because that's just the way it's going to be. I'm not leaving him. I love the line in 30... 20, I, I will cry out to you. I'm not switching my allegiance to another God because you have mistreated me. Uh, I think this, this teaches us two things in closing. Um, again, thinking of Job's speeches. One would be God's character. Um, I think we should learn from a book even as early as this one that what kind of a God do we have? Does he want strict obedience? Is that what he's really interested in? Or does he want humans that will trust him in spite of how they think they're being mistreated? That, that, that's a huge idea, but it tells us something about what God wants. Another and a kind of a related idea would be man's character. I think what we're learning, again, in an early book like Job, just that the large story of Scripture that's developing, is that it's, it's an innate ability because, again, of our image of God and man that, that, that's built into our Constitution, that we have the ability, like Job, to stick to a deity, to, to, be, you know, to, to choose to be faithful to a God. That seems to be something we don't have to be given by God to be able to do, especially. We all have that ability to look up into the heavens and say, I'm going to stick with this God or I'm going to switch and go to another. That's how the story of Scripture will, will continue to play out.